Hi guys, it's Reza from Catspace and this week's um, video blog topic is about SolidWorks RX. SolidWorks RX is one of the useful tools to diagnose the issues that um, SolidWorks users encounter during their design. So this is the interface of SolidWorks RX. The way you can access this tool is either from your task pane in SolidWorks and then under SOLIDWORKS tools you've got SOLIDWORKS RX, this one or if you didn't actually, you couldn't access this and you wanted to run it and your SOLIDWORKS has issues that cannot be opened you can always click on home button here and just type in RX and depending which sort of version you're running you can just choose to run SOLIDWORKS RX 2016 for instance so let's just talk a bit about like the problem capture capability of RX. If I click on that tab, you can see that this system information is going to be refreshing my system information such as the log files and you know the things related to operation system um, that actually has got uh, useful information for the support engineer to go through them and just diagnose the issue you are having with SOLIDWORKS. So in here, you've got three main steps to capture your problem. The first step involves with the capture problem or actually recording a video of your screen and you can show what your problem is in there. So as after this, this refreshing system information finishes, you can click on start capture or if I click now, it's going to start. So it asks you whether you want to use the current session or restart SOLIDWORKS now. If I choose current session, I click there and this is going to be popping up here. So I can drag it to you know the right of the screen and then I can hit start recording and I'll just drag this one here as well since it's refreshing I'll just hit start recording it begins to record so whatever I do in SOLIDWORKS now is being captured so I can go create a new part file for instance this is mainly for you to show what the problem is so I can just you know go easily into the features for instance just draw a cube or something or just as, as I told you you can just show what your problem is with the software if it crashes or if it's just not giving you um, the results that you expect and after you finished your design and you can just you know just just point to the problem in your screen for instance like this and then you can hit finish recording and then it asks you SOLIDWORKS must shut down you can hit OK and then you can either save the file so that you can include them later on in your SOLIDWORKS so I can say desktop and I just put it as test 1 and I save it it goes back to SOLIDWORKS RX environments I hit OK you see that this step 1 is done I go to package file so if I I can just include any file that I want in this so this is the first one the part that I actually created so I can add as much as file that I want so if I cancel that and if I click on package files now these are the list of the included files in the packaging so I click on packaging file and this is going to take a bit of uh, you know just just um, maybe 10 seconds or something then it asks you for a location so that it can save this file as a SOLIDWORKS RS package or in a zip format so I just choose the desktop hit save and now two main steps are complete this is an optional step that you can continue to step 3 and then it takes you here so you can click on continue here and just fill up this name like, like a first name last name email address and you can describe the issue here or you can cancel it that's not a problem and then from there you can access this zip file here and then send it back to us so usually the format of it is going to be something like that so double, double click in there so this is the video you actually recorded and this includes all the information that you might be actually needing there so that's going to be something that I get as an application engineer and support engineer at your VAR and I can just diagnose the issue. One of the main benefits of doing this RX recording is we actually get to know what what's the exact workflow that you guys are doing to get that issue 
and then it's just going to help us out uh you know to get to the point and you know guide you in the right direction or if there's a malfunction or there's a problem in solidworks we can report it straight away to solidworks technical support and they should be taking care of it